Payin, this is an image I took the other day of your Kiku Boshi razor, uh, the way I got it just out of the box. I found the razor to be very sharp. It passed uh, HHT 4 and 5 tests quite easily. And the uh, razor looked pretty much the same uh, as it does here. The full uh, length of and width of the of the blade. So I don't. I think you told me you used a 15,000 grit Naniwa. It must be a very good stone, and I can see that you can shave off this. When I shaved off this razor, it was close, but it wasn't the kind of closeness that I like, and it was a little bit awkward to use um, for myself. Uh, it was sharp, but um, I didn't just like the way it fell on my skin. But in any case, this is this is what you sent me, and uh, and it was fine. But here is the edge that I'm sending back to you. Uh, oh, not that one. Let's see. That was just another. I have a cue here on the right that. Okay, so this is your razor. This is the front side of, and the way that I honed it on that, um, on that Shobudani stone. And you can see the edge itself is very straight up here, and it has a nice Kasumi finish, typical of the Japanese stones, the finish that they leave. So this is the front of the razor, this is the reverse side of the razor. These were, uh, palms dropped and then I did finish on uh, leather afterwards so this is this is the way your razor is going to be when you get it uh, in the mail and what I have here now this is a piece of my beard hair I have a essentially a white beard but I do have some black hairs mixed in and so this is the, the diameter of hair that I'm shaving against the full diameter of this hair is about 175 to 180 microns in diameter. And so this part of my beard, I have uh, some other images. Well, this is actually live in my computer now. This is another piece of hair from my beard. Uh, and my beard predominantly is is a white, you know, beyond gray, it's, it's actually white now. And this is an, another piece of my beard that, and it's translucent. When, when my beard hair gets so white, it gets generally pretty translucent. But this sample here, this is probably about 150 to 160 microns in diameter. That's generally what what it looks like. It's, it looks like a, a ghost, which it is almost. And then I have another sample that I've mounted onto my microscope. And this is a piece of the hair that I use for testing my razors, testing the edges. And this sample, this is uh, about 120 microns in diameter. Yeah, probably about 120. And this is uh, a piece of hair I I bought. I had a, a salon keeper save some hair for me, and I I bought a a large group of hair from her that I use for all my hanging hair tests. It's like uh, 16 or 18 inch long hair. It's women's hair, a uh, dark woman's hair. And so this hair, uh, like I said, it's about 100 and and 20 microns in diameter. Now the next thing I want to show you is I do have a calibration scale that I use to help me determine uh, you know the different things I'm looking at in my computer. Uh, let's see I
I have a Q over here um, to the right that I have images in. Okay, here it is right here. So this is my calibration scale and this scale represents 200 microns in width from the left side to the right side. Uh, this is 50 microns in width, another 50, another 50, so it's 200 microns uh, total diameter. So when I do my testing, uh, I have an, an idea of what actually I'm, I'm looking at as far as my edges and the hair that I'm shaving with, or uh, that I'm going to be shaving with, or that I'm actually uh, doing my hanging hair test with. Here again, your uh, edges looked very good. Um, as it turns out, my edge on this razor, you'll see, is more comfortable. It's just as sharp, but it's a more comfortable edge to shave on. And I think that you'll have the same um, impression that I've had. So that's essentially where we're at. Now the other thing I want to show you is I do have um, your other razor, this SK, and I can put that in my microscope and we can look at, this is the edge that I'm sending back to you that you sent me to, um, to hone and I'm not going to actually hone this razor, it's just I've never worked on a, a such a uh, a curved edge, so I'm a it's a little bit awkward for me. So I am going to send this back to you, but for your reference, here again. This is, I assumed, honed on the same uh, medium that you honed your. Let me that you honed your kikubashi on and this is essentially how uh, this edge is looking this is the one that that's on your SK and it is a very uh, fine edge let's see, I'm trying to adjust the lighting here a little bit It is a very sharp edge, That's I can't deny that. And all along the edge, it's very regular. You, you did a really good job honing this up. It's just that um, this is a, a different type of shave. When you start to uh, have this type of keenness, and it's the kind of shave that I feel like I might cut myself on. It's just a little too sharp for me and a little too... When you have the face of a razor, the bevel face, that's so shiny, it creates a little bit of suction like we were talking about on the phone. But in any case, that's for what it's worth and... Uh, we can talk on the phone a little bit more with more conclusions.